How to set up the Identity Provider SSO authentication with Google Workspace for an Infinity Portal. To set up this configuration, you must have administrator permissions for both your Cloud Guard Infinity account and Google Workspace. Step 1 Select your Identity Provider, Global Settings, go to Identity and Access, hit the plus sign underneath the Identity Providers. Find and click on Google Workspace. Click Next. Here you have a couple options, one organizational account or uh, one or more organizational accounts. If you have more than one organizational account, you'll have different logins for administrators to be able to connect, administrate those accounts. For this demonstration, we will be using one organizational account. You need to verify your domain. Your company's users will sign in to a specific corporate address, so you want to take uh, your the value here, and you're going to add it to your domain record. Checkpoint uses a email address-based verification model for verifying users when they log in. So you want to use the domain that represents your email servers or access to your email. In this case, we'll be using just the raw domain name. First, we'll go ahead and copy the text of the verification record that we need to create. Over here on the right, under our domain, we're going to add a text record to our domain name, domains, add the text in, save this. Once we save that, we'll enter our domain name. It may take a little bit of time to propagate out. And then we'll go ahead and hit plus. It may not always work right away. In this case, it did. It was verified. And we can proceed on. Now you're going to add the following properties. This is basically allowing connectivity into your identity provider portal. In this case, we're going to go to our admin console for our workspace. We're going to proceed to apps, web and mobile apps. We're going to add an app, and it's going to be a SAML app. For the app name, we're going to put in CHKP Infinity App. Could add an icon, but we'll continue. We'll download the metadata. and click continue on the service provider details we'll enter the ACS URL and entity ID from the infinity portal for the ACS URL use the reply URL from the IDP integration page that's this URL here. So we'll paste that in. For the uh, identity ID, we'll use the entity ID. Keep the name as unspecified. and name ID, basic information, primary email, as we see here. Click Continue. Next, we're going to con configure the attributes. 
So under here, under attribute mapping, we're going to hit add mapping, Google directory attributes. First, we're going to select primary email, type email, add mapping, first name, we're going to enter first name with a capital N and make sure we spell it right. And then for last name, capital name. Under group membership, leave it blank, hit finish. Let's see, so we hit next. If you did not already download the metadata, you can click here to download the metadata. And then once you've downloaded it, you can click close. Configure metadata. We select the file, which we just downloaded. Select next. Optionally, you could run a test. Okay, uh, just adding our admin email here and select the connectivity. But we're going to skip that. And then we submit. If you want to set up uh, directory integration at this time, you will proceed to your Google Cloud Console where you will set up a new project and name it DSS-Sync. New project. All right, from there, you will go to APIs and Services under Libraries. Under Library. Admin API SDK, you want to enable. And you also want to enable Cloud Identity. While that's enabling, From there, you're going to create a service account. So from the menu, you're going to select IAM and admin. Service accounts and create a service account. In this case, we're going to use the same name again. Create and continue. We're going to grant it roles to access the project. For quick access, just select basic and roles, select owner. There we are.
and then click done. Then we'll go to the details, go to settings. Once we get to advanced settings, we're going to copy the client ID. Then we're going to go to keys. We're going to generate a new key. Of the type JSON, hit create. We'll be downloading that JSON file as you see below. We get it close. Next, we'll go back to the workspace admin and we'll go to security and we'll go to access and data control. And we'll go to API controls. Below domain wide delegation, we'll click add new. And we'll enter the service accounts client ID that we copied a little bit earlier. And then we'll add the following scopes. And we should be able to do it all at once. Here we go. And then we click Authorize. So for directory integration, we'll return to the Infinity Portal to the Google Workspace. And go ahead and hit Edit. We'll go to Set Directory Integration. And for the admin email, we'll enter that here. We'll go ahead and enter that admin information. We'll select the file that we downloaded. Connect to the connectivity. Successful. Hit apply. It's going to take about five minutes for Google to authorize the domain delegation. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been valuable for you.